right? All right, so we're on. Awesome. And the moon will be right above us. Beautiful I thing. I might go a little higher. The question is, can Where's they the hear washing? us? <laughs> we're gonna do stretching, huh? Stretching. 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 That's not even a word. <laughs> it is our word. Okay. For stretching. Stretching. Right. Right, right. All right. How we are, baby? Are we centered? We're centered. Centered. That's awesome. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> like, okay, perfect. Huh? Are we ready? Are we ready, Poshi? Yes? All right. Yeah. My love, are you there, okay? Sure. Awesome. Do we need extra light? I don't know. The only question is, can they hear us? Oh, very nice. Very good Because we're doing a mic check. So I'm going to find out. Because we now have microphones. So in theory, I can walk hello, away. Hello, hello, hello. Doreen, there's John. All right, so. Can you hear us? Please let us know. That is the question. Rejuvenate is now live. Oh, look at That's that. That's right. Live. With mics. Hopefully it will work. Yes. I don't know. Everything sounds perfect. Oh, that is on. Yes. Thank you so much. It's a little bit chilly. It's not as bad. It's beautiful weather. But what? I'll get my jacket off. Okay. And the moon's right behind us. Timing, perfect timing. I might go just a tad higher. All right. Now we're pretty far away from a video point of view. You view, you are tuning in. No. Oh, sorry. If we have any suggestions, any um, anything that they would like to. Share with us what is your your intention with this practice tonight? What is your mantra? What is your goal? What is what are your thoughts as you are doing your practice as we are practicing together? What is your what are your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions? What you want to accomplish with it? Uh, verse, you know, just besides the mind and body connection and the physical uh, the physicality of the movement, what do you want to accomplish with? this practice. That would be awesome to know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready, Portia? Yes? Yeah, she's ready. Do Look we set that. our watch? Oh, yes, that would be yoga. awesome. Hiking? No. Pilates? We can, we can trick it. Let's see if we can trick the, the watch. Call it Pilates? Yes, let's call it Pilates. How is it going to... Read it for us. Mm -hmm. There you go. How are we feeling today, Coach? You know, upper hamstrings still. Lie down. Good, good girl. girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, upper hamstrings. Other than that, everything's good. But hamstrings into my uh, my abundance muscles. The abundance muscles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Pretty tight. I, and I know why. I know why because we went to the mountains for Coach's birthday. Dun -dun -dun. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. Uh, my our pleasure. Uh, so we went to the mountains and he drove all the way there and all the way back and we hiked for 10 miles or so. So it was it was awesome. But all that sitting driving and thank goodness we moved quite a bit. Uh, but I think that uh, is why those muscles and those areas are, are screaming for help. So we're going to target those hamstrings, lower back as always, those hip flexors. All right. So just go with the movement. Go with the flow. Okay. Take a big, big uh, inhale, exhale through the mouth, engaging that Ooh. core. Always remember. I got, wear, I got wires. You have wires there? I got wires. <laughs> I'm going to stick them in my pants. <laughs> um, always focusing on that breathing. It will help you to center the body, center the mind, center um, your spirit as well and uh, so you can focus on your practice remember you need to we all need to release to be able to receive so that's what we're gonna do here tonight uh thank you so yeah. much for watching us 
It's yeah. always a pleasure. One more check. One more check. One to more see. check. Just to make sure. Thumbs up, hearts. We love you. Know, it's all about love. Make That's sure. my intention. Is uh, love, love, and and uh, now that we're celebrating Harvest Moon, so we're celebrating all the work that we have been doing. Do we do we know anyone named Monica Merisaldi? <laughs> yes, my sister. Are you sure we know? We know who that is. I don't. I don't need to get rid of them. Make sure. No. They are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mi Monica is my sister. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. All the love, all the love, and and thankfulness and blessings to our families. They are being so supportive to us, so loving, and I cannot say it enough. Les amo mucho, mis amores, mi familia dorada. Gracias. <laughs> all right. So, um, like I was saying, it's Harvest Moon. So we're celebrating. We're receiving the product of all the work that we have been doing, if it's in the last month, two months, year, two years, a life's work, because we are the product of, your li of our life experience. So that's what we're celebrating every Harvest Moon, is to be able to receive, to be able to uh, allow all, the, all that comes from our life experience. Good, bad, there's not good and bad. There's always just experience. And all that helps us to to become what we are today. So let's celebrate that. Let's start by bringing those heels together, toes apart. Bring the shoulders back and down, palms towards the back, interlace those fingertips, roll the shoulders back and down, connect with that spine, close your eyes. If you are indoors, it's perfectly fine. You can open a window if the weather is good. That would be awesome. Fresh air is always wonderful. If you are outside, well, enjoy it, or you still have time to go to the deck or to go in an outside area, outside of your home, and enjoy this beautiful time that we have together, and this beautiful time to celebrate in the personal areas as well. Here we go. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth slowly. Remember, inhaling through the nose. And exhale through the mouth, release tension from the shoulders, put that intention right there. You need to release to be able to be ready to receive. Arms up, looking at the beautiful sky that we have there. Even if you're sitting, if you're indoors, reach for the sky. The heels are down, ground yourself towards the ground and your fingertips towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, palms together right there. We're going to interlace those fingertips and place an arrow right there really pointing towards the sky. Inhale, exhale to the right, reaching. Try to not keep your, uh, try to not move your hips. Keep your hips steady as you bring your body side by side. Your upper body is moving side by side. Nice and soft. We're preparing. We're warming up. Side. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. Inhale, center, and side. Coming back to center right there. Inhale, exhale, arms to the sides, heels apart right here. Excellent. Make sure you open the toes right there. Uh, best practice is without socks. If you have toe socks, awesome for you. If not, barefoot is the best. Arms are up. Product inhale. placement opportunity. Exactly. <laughs> Reaching high. Inhale, and exhale. Bend your knees and release. Here we go. Swing those arms back. No tension in the lower back. Navel to the spine to protect your lower back. Yes, really. No tension in the shoulders. You're letting it go every single time that you bring your arms down and up. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And we hold it into the sky right there. Inhale. And exhale, arms to the sides, chin to the chest, all the way down, nice and soft. If your hamstrings feel tight right now, you're going to bend the knees a little bit, okay? Bend the knees right there. Release the tension from the shoulders and neck. Place your hands down or fingertips as much as you can reach. Now bend the knees a little bit more and stretch one. Bend the knees a little bit more and stretch two. Inhale and stretch three. Like I call it plie in ballet, or bend the knee. So my heels want to come off the ground. That's right. Keep when them you down, right? exactly keep those heels down at all times. Is that 
the body tries to compensate is very smart it's like oh you are putting some tension stretching the back of the leg so i'm gonna bring my heels up so it doesn't hurt so let's do one two more times right here and to so those heels down at all times and when you bend your knees make sure that they are parallel to each other we don't want them coming in as you bend your knees always parallel to each other in line with your feet a stretch now here we go inhale exhale let the upper body just fall towards the mat hold your elbows right there head is heavy inhale and exhale you're gonna focus right here not on your hamstrings not in the back of the legs you're gonna focus on your tummy on your abdominals inhale open that rib cage exhale navel to the spine navel to the spine and stretch you're protecting your back right here one more time inhale exhale now we're gonna swing side by side now remember keep those knees bent if it's too much for the back of the legs active stretching that's what we're doing we are releasing to be able to receive when we're stretching we need to release the tension first before we try to go to the deepest stretch center here we go inhale exhale palms are down bring the right leg back and then the left and high push up or plank make sure those heels go all the way back now you need to adjust your hands your arms our hands are farther shoulder width apart open those fingertips so you don't hurt your wrist nicely done awesome from right there stop checking out my abundance well you know they're so good so i'm sorry focus right <laughs> inhale right here exhale bring your hips up and back beautiful right there inhale and exhale those hips are going back all the way to the sky nice now we're gonna lift those heels off the mat a little bit more and down now the key point here is to keep that spine nice lengthening keeps towards the sea towards the sky and those heels up and down you're gonna feel the stretch do you feel it coach i do awesome here we go two more inhale and exhale holding down heels are down now deepen that stretch bring yourself up into the high push-up inhale exhale lower down those elbows tucked in back down and up into the upward facing dog or Cobra. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, palms down and strong. Shoulders back and down. So strong what do I do if my arches and my feet are mm -hmm. cramping? If they're cramping, then we go back to downward facing dog. Good job. Here we go. You see how it travels. The tension travels through the body. So here in the downward facing dog, we're going to bring one knee in and the other one out. So we're going to go for runners. Here we go. Perfect. Now make sure that when you bring that knee in, the other leg is really stretching those calf muscles as well. So that is why the feet, is, they are very important. We need to take care of it. You know, we have been, there's no perfect shoe to help us to stretch our feet as we are going through our day. So always pay attention to your feet morning, night, during the day, being barefoot as much as you can. Wiggle the toes. One more set, right and left inhale exhale again into the high push-up plank position inhale exhale much better going down and up exhale very nice how are you feeling better excellent just got to keep moving inhale and exhale toes under again lifting yourself up and back inhale and exhale lifting the right leg up all the way nice and strong open those hips a little bit more to the side if your body allows you to extending that leg nice and strong inhale exhale bring the knee towards the front you bring that leg to the front as you exhale inhale exhale right here we're gonna be in line the foot in the back is also pointing the front of the mat now extending both legs yes and exhale inhale exhale here we're going to yeah i'm so uh, tight i can't even straighten that yes it, it's completely it's perfect normal. for stretching that exactly so bend the knee right here inhale here and exhale we're changing a little bit the breathing pattern because we need that always the exhalation works better in the exhaustion when you need when you are your body is working a little bit harder here we go two more inhale exhale one breathe in 
exhale two. Right here, we're gonna stay in the runners, lengthening the left leg. Here, feel those hip flexors working right there. Inhale, exhale, bring that left knee down, lengthening the foot, the right foot. Yes, inhale, exhale, make sure that those abs are strong right there by bringing the navel to the spine and bring your arms up for one and two and three and four. Inhale, exhale, twisting, turning to the side at the Right here. Well, this okay. left hip flexor, huh? Exactly. It's a nice twist right there. Nice and gentle, but very effective. Inhale. Exhale, that crown of the head towards the sky, right? Nice and tall, lengthening that spinal cord cramps. And bring it extension. And out. Beautiful. Inhale, down. Exhale. Toes under on the left side and up again into that stretch. And I'm sure it's going to feel a little bit better. Nope. Now, bringing <laughs> the toes up. Front toes right there. Can you lift them up a little bit? Yes. Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Now, bring your hands a little bit closer. Yes. <clears throat> Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that foot down. Exhale again. You're going to bring that leg back. Oh, man. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog again. We're going for the left side. Reaching the left leg all the way up. Lengthening. Nice and strong. Open that hip flexor a little bit more as your body allows you. Bring that left knee in. As you exhale, remember, exhalation in the exhaustion. Very nice. Inhale. And exhale. Extending the leg. And one. Very nice. Reach. And two. Here we go. Exhale. Inhale, you prepare. Exhale when you stretch the most. Inhale, release. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, two more. Exhale, one more. Is this side feels better or the same? A little better. Awesome. Inhale right there. Exhale. Bringing the right knee down. Lengthening the right foot all the way. Prepare yourself because you're going to bring your upper body up. Right? How? Connect you with that, that core. Inhale. Exhale up. Breathe in. And out we twist to the side. Left side rather nice and strong. Crown of the head goes towards the sky. Shoulders are down. Every single time that you exhale, twist a little bit more. Very nice. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Bring yourself up to center. Exhale. Inhale again, reaching with those fingertips towards the sky, lengthening, and arms are down, hands are down, curl your toes under, exhale, reach and extend, stretch again, beautiful, bring your hands a little bit closer underneath your shoulder, and now bring the toes in the front, up, yes, much better, inhale, and exhale, breathe in, and out, bring that foot down, Palms a little bit farther to the front. Inhale. Exhale. Back. Downward facing dog again. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Beautiful. Right here. Reaching right leg up again. Open that hip flexor. And we're going to bend the knee and extend. Oh, you're going to feel it right there. Bend and extend too. Try to reach towards it. Yes. Beautiful. Don't rush it. Make it slow. The slower the better. Three, here we go. Four, two, keep up with the breathing. Inhale, exhale, reaching high and down. Breathe in and out, downward facing dog again. Oh, we have a wonderful breeze right now. That really helps. Lengthening the left leg is up. Open that hip a little bit more. Lengthening the leg. Yes. Now bend the knee and exhale one. Bend the knee and exhale two. Beautiful. Slow and steady. Work with the breathing. I want to hear you breathing, coach. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Try not to breathe directly into the mic every time. It's okay. We have to. It's the only way. So forgive us if that is not that <laughs> appealing, but we must do it. <laughs> Especially we are talking and instructing and trying to uh, to work with the movement as well. Here we go. Oh, again, into the flat, the plank position right there. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Down and up into the cobra. Strong right there. Lengthening the feet. Beautiful. Glutes are tight. Lifting those hips. Inhale. Exhale. Looking the right and left. Right and left to release any tension from the neck. Toes under. Bring yourself up. Inhale. 
and exhale beautiful work lengthening the leg right here inhale and Which leg? exhale right leg up and bring it again to the front beautiful inhale and exhale here we go now we're gonna go to see each other oh well sorry <laughs> that way perfect i have an awesome view right here we're gonna bring your toes in heels out deep in that stretch this is an awesome view for the viewers right there sideways bringing your upper body as close as we can to the mat inhale and exhale breathe in and now feel the stretch on those hip flexors how do you feel coach what do you feel inner thighs upper hamstrings perfect targeting those areas inhale exhale flat back palms are down in front of you yes opening your arms a little bit more in line with your hip shoulder with apart beautiful inhale and exhale lengthening that back those hips far back inhale and exhale very nice here we go we're gonna bring the toes out heels are in so the toes are pointing the corners of the mat we're gonna go side by side Woo, beautiful inhale exhale still lengthening that spine right all the time keeping the shoulders away from the ears here we go four side by side three side by side two side by side last one side by side inhale exhale center breathe in and out we're gonna bring right toes to the outside pointing the camera the other one is going to be they're going to bring in parallel yes inhale exhale so right palm is going to be down or fingertips and then we're going to open into that triangle pose very nice beautiful inhale and exhale one four deep breaths right here two three very nice it's nice where that uh, yoga exhale. block would come in handy because exactly I could straighten That's my leg exactly what i was thinking now <clears throat> if you don't have a yoga I, block and you feel the the need of one bend the knee bend the right knee baby bring your forearm on top of that knee and then up yes because what i want is to focus on those hamstrings hip flexors lower back and spine inhale exhale that flexibility will come yeah, that's much better perfect lower down we're gonna go to the other side bring the right toes in heels out i'm moving <coughs> towards the left side toes out inhale moving the hips forward you're gonna bend that knee left knee place your left arm and up good job perfect inhale exhale so opening the shoulders opening the chest beautiful form that's awesome baby good job inhale exhale one breathe in exhale two reaching the energy through those fingers beautiful one more Exhale. Oh, the camera moon, are we touching, or camera in. view, are we yeah, touching wonder, the moon? Yeah, I'm wondering whether we're touching the, the, the moon. <laughs> Here we go, great idea. For that. Exhale, come into the center. Inhale, toes in, heels <sighs> out. Exhale, deep into the stretch, breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, bringing the palms all the way to the back. <coughs> yes, beautiful, yes. Inhale, and exhale, breathe in and out beautiful work coming back to center nice flat back right there inhale <coughs> and exhale let's move on to the front facing the camera inhale and exhale palms are down bringing that leg up all the way exhale reach full back i'm getting there yes you're doing great Got exhale it. beautiful <coughs> inhale exhale down let's go with the left side now <coughs> inhale exhale bring that knee in and out the stretch inhale exhale we're moving towards this side inhale and exhale toes in heels out deep into the stretch breathe in and out good job inhale exhale inhale exhale flat back right here open your arms shoulder width apart lengthening that spine hips are back and lift it good job inhale exhale we're gonna go to the left side first bring the toes 
on the left foot towards the camera right here. Inhale, exhale. If we go the same principle, bend that knee if you would like. Place the forearm right there and reaching. Inhale and exhale. If you would like to go, viewers would like to go to the full extension of the movement. Extending the legs. Arm is down. Inhale, exhale. Opening the chest. Ready to receive. Release. So you're ready to receive. Beautiful. Two more deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. Energy through those fingers. Exhale, two. Beautiful work. Center. Inhale. Exhale. Bring toes in. Heels out. Deepen that stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Palms are back. Deepen that stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And out. Beautiful work. Let's go to the other side. Right toes out. Inhale. Exhale. Moving those hips forward. Right. Inhale. And exhale. Moving up. Use the variation that we just mentioned. Bend that knee. Forearm on that knee and lift it. Four deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Breathe in. And two. Inhale. And three. Reaching through those fingers. Energy through your body. Yes. Inhale. Exhale. Down to the side. Breathe in. And out, deep in that stretch. Open your arms and try to touch your feet right there. Awesome. Remember, hips towards the sky. Release tension from your upper body. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. Inhale. Exhale. Here we go, facing the camera. Coach, inhale. Exhale. Palms are down, bringing that left leg up. Deep in that stretch towards the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in and down beautiful work inhale exhale right leg is up again inhale exhale we always keep moving let's go to pigeon pose bringing that right knee to the front yes remember to bring the bottom part of the leg a little bit out of the way of the center of the body so you can bring your hips parallel to each other beautiful yes exhale lengthening the leg make sure that that leg is nice and long and the foot is in good alignment not turn in Inhale, pressing those fingers down, exhale, shoulders down, opening that chest and lifting. Inhale. Now you're not on your knee, right? Am I on my knee? Yes. We don't want to be on Where the Where am knee. I supposed to be on? You're supposed to be on your hips, pretty much. Right. So, being on your knee is going to put too much pressure on your knee. So, I, I need you to move towards the center of the body, like it would be in a, in a split. Now, the oh, oh, part of the leg just like a split, huh? Yeah, just like a stick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Washa. <laughs> What's happening? Not a chance. <laughs> Here we go. So you feel the extension of the hip flexor, right? Do you feel it in the back mm -hmm. as well? The other side? Perfect. Yeah, there's no getting this it's lower. It's perfect. All right. Inhale. Exhale. Lower down in front to the body. Now here you can, depending how deep you want the stretch, you can just place it right here. Forearms are down. You want a deeper, deeper to stretch, extending the arms and moving forward, lower towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to feel the stretch a little bit deeper mm -hmm. in that back leg, right in the back of the leg. And glute. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. My right butt is on fire. That's right. This gluteus maximus are on fire. Buddyus on fire. That's right. Coming back, inhale, exhale, lift, very nice, shoulders back and down, inhale, exhale, toes under the back, right there, inhale, exhale, back, downward facing dog, lifting that leg, I know, we're turning those arms <laughs> at the same time, huh, <laughs> inhale, and exhale, down, here we go, downward facing dog again, left leg is up, inhale, exhale, bringing the knee to the front, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Try to bring the bottom part of the leg a little bit more to the side, if it is possible. It doesn't hurt the knee, right? It's good? Yeah, that's awesome. Where it goes. Let's <laughs> make sure that we're centering the body. No quite laying on one side, but center. I know that's it's not easy. No, I know that. No, but we not. work towards it, okay? Lengthening the, the right leg. That. Amen. That's, we work hard. Like I have to work harder in tennis. Harder than I've ever thought. Mm. Tennis is difficult. Not that easy.
No, it's not. <laughs> so we if all you've have been our doing it for thousands of years, yeah. like I have. It's very easy. It's very easy, but I'm learning. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of, of coach for having the patience to teach, to teach me. <laughs> Shoulders back and down, lifting that chest, that energy through the, through the crown of the head, and bring your upper body down. Ooh, I can feel it too. Beautiful stretch right here. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Always I'm reminding you of your breathing because sometimes we forget as we are so focused on the movement breathe, that we need Portia. to breathe. Exactly. Just breathe, Inhale. Portia. Just breathe. Exhale, coming up. One vertebra at a time. Still keeping those fingertips nice and strong. Lift it. Inhale. Exhale, palms are down. Hold the toes under and bring it up again in the downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale and exhale breathe in and down inhale and exhale bring the knees down right here good job toes together heels apart we're going to child pose bring the knees to the sides sit back if possible if it's not possible you can always put a pillow underneath to sit or just go as far as you can but yes widen that uh, your knees to the side and exhale moving forward bringing those hips back remember it's always lengthening right lengthening the spine by bringing the those hips back hey Porsche, are you enjoying this yeah she's the best right here we go inhale exhale the full moon practice is a slow practice even though i keep it running i keep it going because i don't want to put too much tension in the body what we want to do is like i said Release to be able to receive. Coming back. Yeah, Inhale. My knees don't let me do that And anymore. exhale. Here we go. We're going to bring the legs to the front. If you would like it underneath the body or swing them to the side. Like, good job. Yeah. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthening the legs nice and strong. Parallel to each other. Right there. Take advantage. And wiggle a little bit right there. So you really give enough room to the back of the leg to stretch. And you really will see that you can bring your spine in alignment. Open the chest, the fingertips going back. Don't don't go back your with your upper body. Stay in that neutral spine, but those fingertips back down just help us to say, oh, okay, perfect. Shoulders back, down, I'm in neutral. Help us that connection with that core. Feet are in flex. Inhale, we go the toes. Exhale, breathe in. And out, arms up, ready to receive. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, moving forward towards the feet. Yes, <sighs> exhale and down. Inhale, hold it right here. Exhale. Keep that breathing. Don't hold your breath. Yes. Inhale. And exhale, coming up. Inhale. Exhale, open your arms to the sides. Shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, center. And twist. Inhale, center. And twist. At all times, remember, every single time that you exhale, it's time to twist a little bit more. Navel to the spine, center. One more time. Inhale, center. And exhale, keeping those hips in, those feet. The feet are in flex. So we're still working the back of the leg. Arms are up. Inhale, reaching forward, over and forward. Exhale. One of the things you said that stuck with me. Mm -hmm about keeping the feet in flex was to try to heels keep off. the heels off the mat. Yes. And it just keeps that stretch here that constantly, right? You, yes, because... You can let them down when you get tired, but it's just that some people say to, to lo you know, lock your knees or whatever. I like, that is the worst thing, never lock your yeah, knees. Because I, like I, the, uh, I like the heels off the mat instead. Yes. I've noticed that if you don't have any, uh, you know, sports training or um, even if you have, but they have not been a specific of what flex it should be. We just flex it like this. Flex is actually those heels of the mat, of the ground, of the surface that yeah. we're working on. So that's beautiful. Thank you, coach. <laughs> Arms extended. Inhale. Exhale one more time. Breathe forward. <sighs> Remember when you're stretching, always try to reach for the front. It's not just reaching towards your legs. You're reaching farther. Reaching towards your toes. You, I know you can teach. Yeah, there you go. That's all it takes, right? Like this. You, like that, just like that. Oh. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And I should out. probably I should probably check on them just in case. 
Yeah, you're ready to yeah, check on they, them. They Here we go. Check, 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 check those legs. No tension, no tension. Okay, I'm gonna release coach for a few seconds to see to check on you guys if you have, have they might, any. They might need help or that's right. Just they might be tired. I wanna make sure I they're continue. I like it. Very make nice. sure they're okay. <laughs> He's so awesome. Right, <laughs> taking care of, of me and taking care of everyone that is watching. God, yes, let's, make sure let's that, figure out that they're okay. Have, um, yeah. Thank you, my love. Good job. <laughs> All right, so the, the fun thing we do with the kids is can you stand up without using your hands? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, and some adults can do it. You're probably capable of doing it. And it's very in, in the Asian culture, uh, I've heard. Uh, they use that as a sign of mobility uh, because mobility is life. So they ask you if you can go down, you know, without you know crossing your legs like we do in Pilates. Yep. You go down and standing up. So I'm not even close. Like there you go. You're there. You're there. <laughs> Use the breathing. Use the core. Navel to the spine. That's all the we're here. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, very good job. Okay, let's see. Come on, baby. Any questions? If they let us know what the, how the microphone was. Oh, yeah. Let us know what kind of workout you guys would like. Um, you want it slow, you want it fast, you want it, you know, high intensity, low impact training. We can do it all, pretty much. So, you guys, uh, what you would like to see, what you would like to experience with us. Do you have anything, baby? No. No, moon looks perfect. Awesome, see there? It's still there. All right. Beautiful. Oh yeah. my god. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, if you're watching or if you're watching the recording uh, yeah. uh, take time after our practice to be in a quiet place. We like some meditation music or just learn how to be one with the nature, even with the sound that are in our home. Uh, there's a lot of noise around us sometimes. It's just good to just without the music, without the problem, you know, just one sound that we have around us that will help you to get to that point of what we call it meditation. Uh, to the point of centering yourself and reflect on you. If you remember, taking care of yourself. Care of himself and do good things and uh, family and friends. So let's nurture our minds, body, and soul. And uh, I thank you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for watching, for your support, for your love. Uh, to everyone that has been so gracious, so loving, and so supportive to us, uh, what we're trying to do, all our love and appreciation, and uh, we treasure you. Thank you so much. All the love.